Good morning on Eat That Build today. We're going to do a side quest. We're going to talk about the Byzantine generals, Byzantine, however you pronounce it. These proverbial generals are going to attack a city. Now, the city is surrounded by a wall, and the generals will attack from all different sides, but these generals can't communicate. There's going to be some, these pretty mountains in between, say, and these mountains are keeping them from being able to talk. So what the generals have to do is basically just chuck a spy over the wall and hope he comes back. So let's just say spies are going in and out and they're kind of just mixing in, in with the world and coming back out. And inside of the wall is the city's warriors and they can also produce a message and send it out to you. So when you're receiving these, you don't know if the city has sent it or your other guy has sent it. What we do, it's, it's kind of anachronistic, but we're going to have both Byzantine technology and uh, 1983 technology mixed in here. So, so the, the whole premise here is that if one of these generals attacks without a consensus from everyone else, and not all the generals attack at the same time, they are going to lose. Because the city is fortified enough to fight off one wave, right? So if A attacks, but B and C don't, then the city will not fall, uh, the, the general will, and the general's soldiers will die. So what happens is they are they're incentivized to somehow find some consensus between them, but there's no true leader. There's there's no there's no top down hierarchy here. They're all even. They can't communicate other than th throwing stuff over the wall, and they have to find some consensus between them. And this is a really tricky problem. It came out in the early '80s, I think, and and it wasn't solved for for like 20 years. So so let's 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 dig into it and kind of play around with what that looks like and uh, we'll, we'll see how, how we can find a consensus. So first of all, uh, the network is just like something that you've seen before. Uh, and if, you've, if you've looked at the eth.build stuff, uh, we can do this with, with IPFS, but we're not. I can just use a local network. Basically, I can throw something over the wall. Anybody who's listening gets it back. Okay, so that's that's basically our network layer, and that's how we will communicate. We'll publish stuff, and we'll receive stuff, and we won't know if it came from a general or someone within the city or not, and we'll have to figure that out. Okay, the other thing is, uh, thanks to uh, cryptography, we can just generate key pairs willy-nilly, right? So, so to, to have a public-private keeper, to have an identity within this system where we are talking, it's this easy. Boom, I've got one, right? I can sit here and I can regenerate accounts. So, so there's no like, okay, A has an account, we know A is A and, and they're sending this message. Anybody can generate any of these and then just say, okay, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm General Bruce. This is, this is my name and I think we should attack uh, now, right? And then, uh, you know, Chuck, here's Bruce wanting to attack, and Chuck storms the, the, the city, and turns out it was a trick. There is no General Bruce. General Bruce does not have an army, and Chuck's dead. So, uh, we, can, we can communicate, publish, subscribe. We can generate accounts just willy-nilly. What, like, how do we come to a consensus? How, how does General Alice know that General Bob is going to attack? And what it, what it comes down to, and it's really interesting, is basically Bob proving that he has soldiers. Some kind of like proof of, of soldiers or proof of ability to wage war. And so if Bob can prove to Alice that for sure, his soldiers, he, first of all, he, he has soldiers and they're going to attack on Monday, then Alice can say, okay, I have soldiers and I'm going to attack on Monday. Everyone attacks on Monday, they take the city. But if they can't coordinate, if, they, if, if Bob can't find a way to prove to Alice that he has soldiers, then it's not going to work. So uh, let's just set up very, very similar to what we had um, in our ledger. If, if you haven't watched lesson three, I would suggest uh, picking up lesson three first. Because what we'll do is we'll basically just have this network 
Ooh, not a subtract. We need to subscribe. We'll have this network layer that's that's listening for messages um, and then putting them onto a ledger. So basically each one of these warriors up here is going to keep a ledger of all the different communications they've had, right? He's, he's going to write in his little book, okay, person B said this, person C said this. And, and this is going to be handy because we can start putting some rules within the ledger and then we can find kind of just like an algorithm that, that brings us all together that says, okay, if, if four of us all seem to have soldiers and we attack, then, then it'll work. But let me, let me just kind of quickly smash out this, uh, this network layer. So uh, while I'm doing this, let's just talk about soldier toes for a second. What if Alice, so Alice, I mean, the problem, the whole problem here is Alice needs to prove to Bob that she, she has the ability to wage war and she's going to on a certain day. So what if Alice took a piece of paper, wrote on it, I'm going to attack Monday morning. Then she had all of her soldiers line up and stamp their pinky, their left pinky toe on the piece of paper. And then she signs it with her cryptographic keys and then asks all of her soldiers to cut off their right pinky toe and throw it into a wheelbarrow and send it along with the message. So Bob, on the other side of the fence, receives this message with all these stamped toes that says, I'm going to wage war on Monday, join me. And here's all my soldiers. So now Bob can basically like see toe, left toe stamped, right toe cut off, lines up. That was a soldier. She's got soldiers. She's attacking on Monday. Bob cuts off some soldier toes, throws them in the wheelbarrow, sends them on to Chuck. Chuck gets messages from, from Alice and Bob with, with, with a bucket full of soldier toes. And she knows for sure, oh man, or and he knows for sure that the attack is going to happen and he sends his soldiers. So. Soldier toes. Think about it. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's not the best, uh, most uh, scalable way to to wage war. Cutting your soldiers' toes off. So let's think of another way to prove that the soldiers do exist and are willing to wage war, without without having to, you know, fully fully cut off toes. You know, it does doesn't seem like it's going to work very well. So uh, what if what if we had all of our soldiers? Because, you know, the town could probably, like, fake one of those messages. There'd be a bunch of townspeople walking around with, like, no toes left, right? Like, you, 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 there's only so many toes you can cut off. And definitely, like, if you're going into battle, you want, you want your soldiers to have at least, you know, eight or nine toes. I don't know. I don't know how many toes you need to wage war. Anyways, let's say, let's, let's, let's put a pen in the toes idea. No toes. Let's say, what if all of our soldiers have like a little whittling knife and they could whittle up a little uh, wooden grasshopper and throw it in a bin. So then every time I send a message, I send all my whittled grasshoppers along with it. And sure, the townsfolk could probably whittle some themselves. But again, what you're doing is sending a message that, that, that incorporates all of this work with it. And how, how can we do that kind of in, in this world here? Okay, let's, let's forget about the Byzantine world for a little bit. Let's just figure out how we do that here. So let's say we are going to keep track of this ledger. And this ledger will be very similar to the ledger from lesson two. Uh, we'll have a from General Alice. And we'll, uh, we won't have a two. So there won't be a to address anymore. We uh, will take that out. And uh, our value is actually going to be a string because it's going to be what our attack plan is, right? So attack Monday at dawn, right? All right, so then, so we, we're, this, this thing, this ledger is now going to be called uh, our attack plans. Right, so we're we're, we're e each person is going to keep track of all the attack plans that come over the wall, and then they're going to sort of try to parse through them and figure out if they can find a way to know what day is actually the day they want to attack. Uh, and if if you haven't seen the nonce episode, you're behind. You should definitely know what a nonce is at this point. And then we're going to need to come up with some kind of work, whether it's whittled grasshoppers or a bucket of toes or something. We're gonna have to prove that we did some work. And then that message will get sent along and everyone will see it. Okay, so we're, we're pretty set up here. Uh, I'm gonna maybe pull this off and pull this off and set it up so I can, I can say this is, you know, this is 
General Alice uh, attack Monday at dawn. Just kind of redoing some work there just to make it a little easier to deal with. Now, work. Work. How do we prove work? Right? Okay. Well, if we look at the lowly hash function and we go through and we type I'm a soldier, right? Look at that. Look at that. We just, we, okay, so each time I'm typing a character, it's it actually takes work. Although it's pretty quick, right? My my machine is having to take this new string and, and parse the hash of it. So it's doing a little bit of work. We're, we're doing a little whittling, right? So what we need to do is basically force someone to do a bunch of hashes. So we'll come up with this sort of arbitrary rule that this hash needs to have a certain amount of zeros at the beginning of it, okay? And so what we'll do is instead of, instead of this text, right, we'll, we'll take the entire message and we'll get the hash of it and then we'll uh, find out if that hash and we'll go for one. This will be, we'll get to that a little bit, then hex to number. And then we want to do a condition of whether or not that is equal to the number zero. And once it is, then we've got it set. Okay, a lot of stuff here. Let me just get this housekeeping put together. Okay, there we go. So now, now uh, we want to find, here we go. We've kind of got this this set up, uh, get this thing, uh, what is going on, what am I doing? Okay, so now, General Alice can basically just kind of shred on the keyboard here until that watch turns true. And that will tell her, and it, it, it's even kind of delayed, right? It's a little slow as I type. Oh man, it should be like one in 15. I should be able to get this. Oh, no, no, now it's doing something weird. Uh, okay. Let's turn the work, let's do this differently. Let's put a counter uh, for the work section, and then we'll have a nice little increment button. And why not a decrement button? Okay, here we go. Boop, 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 boop. So I'm clicking this, I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm hoping to find a zero. As soon as that watch turns true, then this whole message is gonna be valid. Holy moly. There we go, there it was, there it was, back up. There we go. Okay, so we just did some work, right? We did 33 steps of hashes to find that if I take this entire message and I put it into a hash, it is going to have a leading zero. So now we want our ledger to respect that, right? We want our ledger to say the same thing. So we're going to say the difficulty of the ledger is one. Cool. Now I can plug that in here and that becomes sort of like this, this variable that everybody within the network respects. So now I've got General Alice over here, and she has to cram, she just has to jam on these numbers until she finds a hash with a leading zero, and then she can send it across the network and she can tell everybody about it. So then let's say there's General Bob, okay, and he's going to have to do some amount of work also, so he's doing some work, he's doing some work, he's doing some work. Uh, oh, there it was, back up, back up, back up. Good job, Bob. Okay, and then Bob can say, yeah, let's let's attack it, Don. So so these, gen oh wait, why is it still so General Alice? Oh shoot, okay, I didn't replace it up there. Okay, so now General Alice has actually uh, kind of put two things of work out there that uh, they want to attack, or she wants to attack at Don. Okay, cool, now, we sort of figured out how we're gonna do our work, right? We're gonna force people to do hashes. Uh, but it doesn't really make sense for uh, Alice to be doing all of her own hashes. In fact, like at this point, this is like a single person, right? What we need, what we need is like a, a soldier, right? So let's create a module, and we will name that module Soldier. Okay, get ready for some whittling. At least we're not taking your left toe, Sonny. Okay, so now we want to grab this dude's. Let's just give him a cool color, why not? Cool so soldier. All right, now what we're gonna do is kind of copy all of this stuff, take it into the soldier world, uh, and we're gonna automate this. What we wanna do is just have this thing work over and over again. So let's start with like a random number. 
Okay, and then we'll just feed that to uh, like a number. Okay, and then uh, we'll feed that into, okay, so we need Bob's transaction. So we need to, let's see, let's set up a variable. Here we go, we're gonna set up a var, whoops. Stay with me, stay with me. We're gonna have a variable that tracks the current object. And while I'm here, I might as well set up another variable called difficulty. Okay, and I'm going to plug that in here and that there. Okay, and I'll bring that difficulty in here so the soldier knows that this is the difficulty we're working at. Okay, and then I'll bring that variable in so this is the object. Okay, plug that in. Boom! Boom! All right, so now uh, we, we got, we've got general Alice's uh, from value nonce. Okay, but we don't have, I don't think I set the nonce to increment either. We're gonna need to set that up in a second. But we're gonna put in our own work. We're gonna shove this in as the work. Cool. Okay, then at any point, oh, 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 oh. And we want to JSON encode this, and that's where our hash will come from. Bam! All right, now we're watching. So now at any point, we come across a true, a, a number that makes uh, our, our message valid. We are going to add it to this list. Uh, where's our number? Right here. Bam! There we go. Okay, so now, and we're going to set that as the output of our module. And now we have built a soldier, and this is his work. Cool, 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 cool. Check it out. There is our soldier. He's working away. So now we've got a soldier. We can, we can pull this stuff out. Our drawing is gone. Now that soldier can plug in some work. Cool. Now look at that. It's just going to find. We, we just we're not working anymore over on the right. We're just getting handed the right hashes we need to, pr to, to produce a, a valid transaction to go on chain. The thing that we don't have going on is the nonce is wrong. So let me just jump back basically to uh, lesson three with the nonces. I'm assuming you've already seen all this. So I'm going to just breeze through getting it set up on a timer. So much stuff here. So much stuff to deal with. A lot, a lot of cognitive overhead just to get some some Byzantine generals going on here. Okay, there we go. So now, oh, I gotta plug that nonce in. Oh, hey, hey, come here. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Yeah, yeah, you. Cool. Cool. Okay, now the nonce is two. I send that in. Uh, let's go ahead and reset the. Okay, now we're requiring a nonce. We're not requiring a two. The value is a string. The difficulty is one. Here's our attack plans. All right, we are ready to go. That is that took that took a lot. Oh, he's still. Oh, that's clearing. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. So uh, there we go. Alice can now say she wants to attack. Now, if we have Bob. Bob's gonna have a single soldier. Right now we just have single soldiers, right? We haven't built up our armies yet, but we're, we're very close. We are almost there. So, uh, there we go. So Bob can attack at dawn, but this could basically just be, uh, this is, you know, some dude. Uh, and, you know, let's, let's go get some chili fries. Is that even how you spell chili? Come on, some dude. Yeah, okay, so even him with a little bit of power is going to be able to find a nonce and to, to totally spam our network with chili fries, right? The, the whole point is we've got this city. We're trying to communicate with the city. What we need to be able to do is filter out all the noise and only listen to people that have a full army. So what we got to do is we got to turn up our difficulty, okay? Instead of a difficulty of one, Let's, let's turn that up to two, okay? Now that's gonna take this soldier, now it's at two, uh, considerably longer time to find the right answer, okay? So uh, now let's go ahead and just set this back to General, oh, hey there, General Alice. 
Okay, and she's not interested in chili fries. She just wants to uh, attack Monday at dawn, right? Let's get this thing. Let's let's do this thing. Okay, so now let's 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 finish this up. Let's make an army. I think this is all about the army, right? We need to prove that we have an army. Okay, so with with our our difficulty set to two. It's going to take a long time for a single soldier to find anything, right? So now we've, we've really filtered out everyone. Now we just need to strengthen up the people that have an army. So it's time to... Oh, oh gosh. Okay, let's get into our soldier real quick. So uh, hacky react stuff. I just need to clean up those objects. You know, one of these days I'll fix that. But Okay, so now let's create an army, right? What we've got is soldiers one two three right and all these soldiers are working away on the general's problem right they're trying to solve whatever the general's trying to do and they're trying to find something with a difficulty of two what we need is a lieutenant to find the latest of each one of these right 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 see what i'm doing here we kind of Bring all the soldiers together. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, okay. Now this is starting to come together. So now instead of just one single soldier, now we're looking at nine different soldiers all working together, right? And I can copy and paste. I can do this whole thing again, and we can really scale up uh, our, our numbers here. But the goal is just like hash rate, right? What, what we want to do is just have like a huge hash rate. Of, of, gosh, what am I doing here? Two number, please. Thank you. Rad. Cool. Boom. This guy's going to have an answer by the time I get here. Yep. Yep. There's two. Okay. Alice is in. Oh, look at that. They're happening fast. Let's see. There's another one. Okay. So with nine, with nine soldiers, we're able to be pretty loud on the uh, two, two. Okay. So now think about this. Think about everyone has one of these, right? So General Alice, General Bob, General Chuck, the city, some random dude in the city, some dude herding goats out on the out on the hill. Everyone's got one of these. They have the ability to create accounts all they want. They can talk on the network just by publishing. But what they don't have is an army of soldiers. And if we say each soldier is just jamming away on these hashes and we set a difficulty in our attack plans, let's crank it all the way up to three. Okay, so now, now it's going to be pretty difficult, and let's go ahead and clear things. It's going to be pretty difficult for anyone, even with a pretty decent army, to come up with three zeros in a hash to say, I want to attack at dawn, right? And let's, let's just go, let's, let's, let's scale this up, right? Let's scale this up. Come on, come on. Let's get another one right here. Let's get another one right here. All right, so now we're I mean, what basically what we're doing is we're really silencing uh, those those voices of of people uh, that only have a little bit of soldier power, right? We really have the ability to wage war now with all these soldiers, and so we're going to use them to do a bunch of work to attach to our messages to let us communicate that we want to go to war at a specific time right it's all about coordination and now we are set up we've <laughs> we've we've got like 27 soldiers right and they're all working on how general alice is going to attack at dawn and they're all just trying to find some number look at them just jamming away trying to find some number so i'm going to speed this up with a little trick here i'm just going to go fast forward watch watch the hatches fly fly by now <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming that just by doing that, yep, there we go. We're, we got our first one. So now we've got a hash with three zeros. So imagine General Alice has all of her soldiers backing her, helping her to say that she wants to attack at dawn. All right, let's, let's, let's say that General Bob, he's going he's gonna to want to say the same thing. I'm going to speed it up and really jam on those hashes until one of them gets found. Go, 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 chew up my CPU. Come on, Bob. So he's he's just trying to, all his 27 soldiers are just trying to find that. Oh, there he is. Bob is in. Bam. 
Okay, so, so this is how they're going to coordinate. They're, they're going to have to use this proof of work idea or this proof of soldiers by using having their soldiers do some work that only the people that can write to this meet a specific uh, minimum of the amount of work they put in. Now, it's possible that one random dude could definitely just find these leading zeros. Look at that, I got four. That's not, come on, Bob, way to go. Uh, yeah, oh no, it's three. Oh, did he find another one? Get in there. Yeah, look at that. Okay, anyways, some random dude could technically find a hash with some leading zeros, and he could throw that into the attack plans, right? So you, you, you have to imagine that there's probably some amount of soldiers that are turned to the other side. You have to imagine that there could be some noise and someone could just get lucky and paste something here. But in general, as time goes on, we're going to see that Bob and Alice and Dan and Chuck, the, the good generals that are coming to battle, are going to have enough soldier power to kind of write their attacks into this, this ledger enough that a consensus will be met. And, and you can almost see, you know, this forming already with just like three messages. I mean, Bob, Bob is just slamming them out. Attack Monday at dawn. I mean, like he's, he's put so much, so much work into that already. He's three nonces deep. That's another thing to kind of look, look at is if, if Bob has put in three nonces, there's like this history of him putting in work. And we'll, we'll get to that with, with blocks and, and blockchains and, and a lot of other stuff later. But this is basically it. You, you have this problem of these generals needing to find consensus, and they're all on the same level. And, and they have this network where they can publish and subscribe just randomly, willy-nilly. Anyone can generate an account at any time. So what they need is some kind of metric to show that they are, they are true uh, generals with a true army behind them. So they need that proof of army. And so what you do is you create some kind of work, which is this hash function, and you just make your soldiers just jam over and over again until they find something. And the fact that you can find something with three, four leading zeros means that you have a whole army of soldiers or you just got really lucky. So if you have an army of soldiers and you repeatedly say you're going to attack Monday at dawn, people on the network are going to respect that and people are going to attack at dawn. And gosh darn it, people will like you when you take over that city. I don't even know if there are good guys. Maybe this whole thing, like maybe the city, maybe the city had the good, maybe those purple dudes were the dudes, I don't know. Uh, leaving ethics out of this one, we're gonna say that uh, we, we just count on the math and the cryptography. All right, that's the Byzantine generals. Check out ETH build. Thanks for coming along. Go soldiers, go! Proof of work. Uh, buckets of toes. Yeah, that's the, that's the headline here. Wheelbarrows full of toes. Happy, happy Friday. Happy Bowtie Friday. Eat Bill.